In just 30 minutes, Tim Giles will go from quiet contemplation to this. I started by looking under the bed. Full-blown chaos. It's a challenge. It's a, it's a, probably one of the most difficult things that I've ever taken on. Rehearsals are in full swing for USC's production of the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. And Tim is playing Christopher Boone, a 15-year-old with autism. He says he's done an enormous amount of research to look at the world the way Christopher sees it in the show. I was really interested in finding people on the autism spectrum speaking about their experience as opposed to looking at psychologists and doctors who sort of who can look at it from an outside perspective and tell you what they see. People on the spectrum such as Beck Chandler, a freshman at USC who was diagnosed with autism at the age of six. You don't think about it, we have an internal compass just built in that tells you what to do, when, to, what facial expressions to do, and you kind of, even just like smiling when you're happy, you just kind of have to figure out what you're supposed to do there. Beck will be watching Tim closely when he comes to see the show, not just for the portrayal of autism, but also because he's a bit of an actor himself. When you're on stage, you don't have to think about what you're saying or what you need to be doing. It's all planned out, and it's like um, a simulation almost. In fact, Beck played Christopher in the same show at Trustus Theater a little over a month ago, and he still remembers his lines. Thank you very much for clapping, and thank you very much for staying behind to listen to how I answered the question on my maths A-level. Then I detected in the utility room. Back in the theater, Tim knows the risks of portraying a character with a disability. I want to do it with a lot of care and a lot of sensitivity. I don't know where I come down on, on that. If, there, if there's a moral question involved, uh, is it acceptable that I would be playing Christopher? In the long run, I'm not sure. Tim hopes that people on the spectrum who sit in these seats can have their life experiences reflected back to them from the stage and share that moment with everyone else in the audience. He says that's what theater is all about. And it reminds us of what it means to be human uh, and that what it means to be human is a vast spectrum in and of itself. For Carolina News, I'm John Romanski.